exponents exponent or index if x is multiplied for 7 times x into x into x into x into x into x into x is written as x to the power 7 read as x raised to the power 7 and x is base 7 is called exponent 1 product law is equal to a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n 2 quotient law is equal to a to the power m upon a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n 3 power law a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n 4 a into b whole n is equal to a to the power n into b to the power n a upon is equal to a to the power n upon b to the power n 5 a to the power 0 is equal to 1 x to the power 0 is equal to 1 5 to the power 0 is equal to 1 6 a raised to the power minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to the power m 1 upon a raised to the power minus m is equal to a raised to the power m 7 under root a is equal to a raised to the power 1 upon 2 3 radical a is equal to a raised to the power 1 upon 3 m radical a is equal to a raised to the power 1 upon n power of equation property for any small n belongs to capital n a upon b whole raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power n upon b raised to the power n where a and b belongs to capital r and b is not equal to 0 by the definition a upon b whole raised to the power n is equal to a upon b into a upon b into a upon b up to n times is equal to a into a into a into a up to n times upon b into b into b into b up to n times definition for every small n belongs to capital n x belongs to capital r x not equal to 0 we define x raised to the power n is equal to 1 upon x raised to the power minus n by the definition division property can be written as follows in the first instance for any m or n belongs to capital n m not equal to n x belongs to capital R and x not equal to 0 x raised to the power m upon x raised to the power n is equal to x raised to the power m minus n if m is equal to n then x raised to the power m upon x raised to the power n is equal to x raised to the power m upon x raised to the power m is equal to 1 x raised to the power 0 which is equal to 1 by the case second of property therefore x raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 for every x is not equal to 0 and belongs to capital R no when x is equal to 0 no meaning is assigned to x raised to the power 0 if x is not equal to 0 x raised to the power n into x raised to the power minus n is equal to x raised to the power n minus n is equal to x raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 implies that x raised to the power minus n is the multiplicative inverse of x raised to the power n that is x raised to the power minus n is equal to 1 upon x raised to the power n so far we have discussed exponents which are integers we shall now take up exponents which need not be integers consider 5 raised to the power 2 is equal to 25 we say that 25 is the square of 5 or second power 5 and 5 is the square root of 25 or second roots of 25 similarly in 5 raised to the power 3 is equal to 125 5 is cube root of 125 if a is a real number and n belongs to capital N also greater than 1 then the number x such that x raised to the power n is equal to a is called the nth root of a and is written as x is equal to n radical a or a raised to the power 1 upon n in the expression n radical a is called a radical n is called the index and a is called the radica since n is greater than or equal to 2 and most of our computations relate to square roots we usually omit 2 from 2 radical and we simply write under root 
we know that the square of positive integers or a negative integer is always a positive integer. For example, minus 3 whole square is equal to 9 and 3 square is equal to 9. Thus, every positive number has two square roots, one positive and another negative. We use under root 9 to indicate the positive square root of 9 while minus under root 9 to indicate the negative square root of 9. If a is greater than 0 and n is any positive integer then n radical a is positive. If a is less than 0 and n is any odd integer then n radical a is negative. If a is less than 0 and n is any positive even integer then n radical a does not exist in the set of real numbers. Extending the law of exponents, observe the following examples. 8 raised to the power 1 upon 3 into 8 raised to the power 1 upon 3 into 8 raised to the power 1 upon 3 is equal to 8 raised to the power 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 8 raised to the power 1 is equal to 8. That is, 8 raised to the power 1 upon 3 whole cube is equal to 8. Therefore, 8 raised to the power 1 upon 3 is equal to 3 radical 8. 2. 3 raised to the power 2 upon 3 into 3 raised to the power 2 upon 3 into 3 raised to the power 2 upon 3 is equal to 3 square. So that 3 raised to the power 2 upon 3 into 3 is equal to 3 square. That is 3 raised to the power 2 upon 3 is equal to 3 radical 3 square. By the observation made in the above example, we can define x raised to the power p upon q is equal to q radical x raised to the power p, where x belongs to real numbers, x is greater than 0, and p upon q belongs to real numbers. Clearly, x raised to the power minus p upon q is the multiplicative inverse of x raised to the power p upon q. x raised to the power p upon q into x raised to the power p upon q is equal to x raised to the power 2p upon q x raised to the power p upon q whole raised to the power m is equal to x raised to the power mp upon q.